feels a little dangerous after 100 miles. Yeah, this is like a thousand trip hazards in a row. people pick this race as their first 100 miler. It's going to raise a hand there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got the monster in person. Five minutes to go here. Yes. Remember, guys, we're not That's what everyone was saying. This is the easy one. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Yeah, the next, uh, the next three are, are burly. All right. And it's like, it's funny because, you know, the, the road gun room is kind of cliff, so when you first drop off or like the last pitch up is like almost vertical, and then it's like kind of flattens out as you go towards the bottom. Yeah, it's a nice mix though because there's like, yeah, this is this is a little dangerous because I was like, I think I'm moving too fast. Yeah. miles in. I already left my GoPro on for minutes and my battery's dead. Uh, first aid station. Nice work. Hi. Good job guys. You, man. Had some potatoes, bean roll up. Nice work. There's a gorgeous stream down here that I just want to go lay in and have Rose pick me up later. Now 16, battling a little nausea already, I think because I've been sweating like a ton. It's not too warm yet, a little shaded area. Uh, completed two climbs so far, so four more to go. Uh, the first 42 are supposed to be the hardest, and then it gets a little easier from there. Or does it, because you just get more and more tired. We'll see, hopefully I find out. Yeah. Chewing on a ginger chew, hopefully that'll help. I'm trying to conserve my water, but I already feel like I'm a little bit on a deficit. So when I get to the next aid station, I'm gonna make sure my all of my flasks are empty. I'm gonna drink at least one before filling them up and heading out. That's the plan. Hopefully I don't forget, because sometimes that happens. You get so excited at the aid station and you want to get in and out. But I think I'm making okay time so far, so I'm just walking a little. My last mile was 14 minute mile and I think I need at least to average about 20 minute miles. 
which <laughs> climbing the, the rim will definitely slow you down. So I shouldn't count on that too much up here. Anyway, see you soon. That's my GoPro. <laughs> And this is why I'm probably going to Superman at some point. Holy <laughs> Mile 18, and this is uh, this section is making the last little bit look pretty easy. I have fallen twice. Well, one and a half. First time I fell flat on my back. Second time I caught myself. But. Uh, yeah, it's pretty loose. <laughs> so my left is this drop off. And uh, just, you know, going down a mountain. So much running the downhills. So these long grasses, I keep stepping on the ends of them that are on the ground with one foot and then touching my other foot on the cut leaf and it's like trip wires i keep doing it stop it stop doing that. almost 20 and a half miles in i'm basically out of fluids i think i maybe have one mouthful left i'm just trying to conserve it um walking so that i don't kill myself um this might screw my timing up but uh, also if I run in and try to play catch up with the water, it might hurt me that way too. So doing what I think is best. I'm thirsty. You know how bad I want to be down there right now? Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good. Mile 23 and a half. Uh, spent some time at that aid station with uh, Jamil's mom, <laughs> nursing me back to health. Uh, lots of water, some goo recovery drink, um, a little bit of food, but I couldn't really stomach it too much. And uh, Gatorade and not get rid. Gnarly. Um, water, ginger ale, and coke. water and some coke because I missed the spring. Thirty two point three miles in, just left uh mile thirty two eight station. 
as soon as I got there, I got my drop bag and had a liquid IV in there. And so I um, put that in some ice water and started pounding it and immediately nauseous. So I had to sit there for a while and figure that out. I mean, you can kind of see I'm pretty salty as happens. Okay, it's obviously dark. Not sure what you can see. Um, now 41.3 back up on the rim road. It's a little climb. It's uh, just left the aid station, just did the fourth climb of the rim. And that was pretty tough. I felt good all down below. Then it got dark, turned the light on, started using Cal Topo to navigate because it was getting a little sketchy trying to find things, find the markers in the dark. Um, yeah, I got to the aid station. It's four miles to the next aid station, so that's kind of nice. Maybe I'll be able to get on top of my nutrition between here and there. So yeah. Out here doing it. Just saw Ed, the jester. He just dropped. He said this is 3 and 0 for him. Yeah, or 0 for 3, however that works. I'm a sports guy. Uh, yeah, just replaced the battery in the GoPro and doing the thing. Not sure what you can see, but I'm oddly at peace, not really freaked out, so that's good. Um, Mount 52.7, aid station is 53.4. I gotta be there before 1.15 a.m. It's currently 12-12. Cool. So my streak will be complete for today. Okay, I gotta look it up. Now 61.26. Uh, in the game of chasing cutoffs, uh, it's 3.30. I have to be out of the next aid station by 4.30. And I don't even know exactly where it is. I think it's 62 something, maybe 63. So just uh, moving slow, trying to keep going. Good morning. It's almost six o'clock. Now sixty-five point eight eight. Feeling pretty good. I'm a little concerned what the day is going to bring with the heat again. It might slow me down, but. I'm determined chasing these aid station cutoffs and I just want to finish come so far one thing that's kind of cool is I don't know if you can hear that or not you can hear the elk I guess it's called bugling I don't know but I haven't seen an elk yet. But they're definitely waking up. The one I've been officially moving for 24 hours to give you an idea. The difficulty of this 
course, I've covered 66.44 miles in 24 hours. Um, I feel like, well, the first 50K took like 10 hours. So normally I finish a 50K in between six and seven hours. Just uh, had the gnarliest, most awful, disgusting section from Geronimo up to Donahue. Just super exposed climb. It's hot. Everyone's running out of water. Made it to the aid station with 10 minutes to spare. Left with five minutes to spare. And now, uh, and Kevin was there, so he found me, and uh, I'm going about four and a half miles down to where he's allowed to pace me. So that was a lift of the lift in the spirits. Uh, pretty sure I was about to get my. GoPro out to show you guys the peacocks I saw on the trail when I realized they were logs. And then just now under this shaded tree, I saw a pug, but it was a log. So I've been awake for probably like 30 hours at least. So maybe that's when it starts to kick in. Almost mile 81, ready to be done with this thing. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna make the cutoff. I made the cutoff. <laughs> and I can taste the finish. And I hope Rose finds me out there too. So yeah. See you out there. Out of it, no. Mile 90. Uh, picked up Kevin as my pacer. Ooh. He graciously agreed <laughs> to come walk a lot of miles with me. Uh, We're running. Uh, uh, we barely made the last cutoff, but like we got there when you were supposed to leave, but they were cool and, and let us kind of fill up and get some fluids in. And yeah, we're heading towards Pine. Kind of ready to be done. Can't resist. Got to cool down. Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for him. Yeah. Woo! The Odeon Monster 100 Mile Finisher. Woo! Yes.
I'm very sleepy. Are you real? Are you a person? 